I'm Maddie. Um, I go to UTRDV and this is a dorm tour of my room. I live in the village apartment. So if you're someone who's moving in and kind of want to like snoop around and see like how to plan stuff, this is just my room. I'm not going to show the living room or anything like that right now just because it's not very clean and other people are out there. So, but if you're someone who's going to come here next semester or something and want to look, I looked for UTRDV dorm tours whenever I was about to come here and there were none online. So if this is the only one you see, this is the Village Apartments. I'm on the volleyball team, so if you're coming here for sports, this is where most of the sports people live on campus. Um, some of the sports people live in Unity, and then some people live on, like baseball and basketball, live on a place off campus, which is not affiliated with the school. But if you're like in tennis, soccer, volleyball, I think that's it. Um, yeah. And you're coming to UTRGV, you're probably gonna be living in, or track, um, you're probably gonna be living in the village apartment. So yeah, enjoy. This is kind of what the rooms look like. Um, some of the rooms here, depending on what sport you play, have bigger beds. So if you play basketball, I'm jealous of you. But um, yeah, if you wanna keep watching and see what the dorms are like here, or if you are not coming here at all and just wanna see how people decorate their dorms, this is how I decorating. I've personally been in school for, oh my gosh, since 2016. I took a gap year in there somewhere. And I'm a chronic college hopper. I've been to four different schools. So I have a lot of knowledge up here of like, this is what comes in handy and this is what you don't really need. And I have tips at the end of the video. So yeah, let me start yapping to give you a little overview of what you can see before the video. The Village Apartments is one apartment with four different rooms two bathrooms, a living room, and a kitchen. So I lucked out because um, I know a lot of college students don't get their own room. This is my first time ever having my own room. So everyone in the village has their own room, which is really nice. And then you share a bathroom with one other person. My front door, uh, that's from media day. And we all took our heads and put them on our door. Um, this is from five and below. These are things from our RA. And then I don't even play soccer, but they put a little soccer ball on my door, really cute. And then we can go inside. Let me turn on my light. So I'll do just like a little overview really quick and then I'll tell you where everything's from. So this is a little overview of everything. I'll try to show all the stuff and I'm zoomed out a little, so it might, look a little far away, but it's hard to get everything in the camera. Um, yeah. And then we're back at the door. Well, I'll tell you where everything's from now. Um, this is my backpack from school. So, <laughs> uh, but this macrame is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think they actually went out of business but that's where that's from and it just hangs on my door like that. Um, and then some bags. That's the one I used to go tanning. And then this is what I got whenever I got my books from the bookstore. This, I would highly recommend one of these. This is an over the door hanger. You can get them like anywhere. I think this one specifically is from Walmart, but it's nice to have a place to put all your stuff because when you're living in a dorm, there is like no space. I kind of lucked out because I have my own room, but I've lived in dorms where I had to share a space and you need all the little tricks you can to get all your stuff in the room. So this is my closet. Um, I kind of lucked out, we have big closets here. If you're thinking about moving to UTRGV and going to school here, um, this is what the village apartments look like. So this is how big the closets are here. I have a slightly bigger closet than some of the rooms here but this is how I have it organized. So I have another over the door hanger and this is where I keep all my purses um, and a belt. So a good way to save space there. Um, and then on this side, I have all my like bottoms and then I have some blankets back here on like a hanger, but pants, shorts. And then over here, I got these from five and below, which is nice because you can hang a bunch of them. I actually went back to get more, but they were all sold out. But um, five and below, I'm pretty sure they might have them every single year around school time. Um, and I put all my leggings in there. Um, and here is shirts and longer sleeves. And then back here is way wedged back here is all my dresses. Uh, I have a lot of short sleeves because it doesn't really get cold here. 
Um, and going up top, this is from Target. And I have all my sweatshirts and all of my sweatpants in it because I don't really access them very often because again, it's really hot here. My backpack for going to the beach because we kind of live close to the ocean here. Uh, SPI is where we are closest to. Shoes, water bottles, stuff I don't really use, but it's up there. Then more sweatpants and stuff because they don't all fit in there <laughs> and they're not very well organized, so ignore that. Um, that wreath is from Five Below and I use it for Christmas above my bed. Blankets up here and that's a Squishmallow that my teammate's mom got me. Then this is down here a rolly cart from Target. It's the gray one and this is kind of a catch-all for all of my crap. Uh, I used to live and go to a school that had communal bathrooms, which was a struggle. But I got, had all my communal bathroom stuff in here, and I would just roll it to the bathroom, which was awesome. So if you have communal, communal bathrooms, I would suggest that. But now that I don't have a communal bathroom, I just kind of use it for all my junk. Then over here, um, this is my shoe rack from Walmart. And then if I could suggest anything to you, get this laundry hamper. It's from Walmart. You can order it online even, and they'll have it shipped to your Walmart. This is everyone ever has been jealous of me for this laundry basket because first of all it's big second of all it has wheels so you can wheel it around almost like a suitcase and a lot of universities your laundry is not really close to where you're living like I've had it in the basement I've had it literally I had to go outside in the snow and walk to the building um so if your laundry is far away get this because it's just the best uh so yeah that's my closet Above my closet, I have that from senior night, which was so sweet. And then going to the outside of my closet. I have, this is going to be noisy, sorry. That's how I have to close it because it kind of doesn't work with that, but I make it work. Oh, there I am. Um, that's from my, my teammates had a birthday little thing for me. So that was so sweet of them. And then this is a full length mirror, which I would suggest because it's kind of rare for any college to have a full length mirror. Um, it's nice to see your outfits and how you look like all put together. That is from Walmart and it was like $10, under $10. So I would suggest that little cute thing from last year's season. And then I'll walk over here for the overview of my desk area. And I'll tell you where everything is from for this. So over here on this wall, I just kind of put a bunch of volleyball stuff. So. Stuff from my Juco, stuff from past schools, all of that. My locker stuff from all my other schools, um, just kind of decorated there. This is, I don't have anything on it right now, but this thing is awesome. This is from Target. It was in like the dollar section. I'm not sure if it was actually a dollar, but it was in the cheaper section um, towards the front of the store. And I just put it up with thumbtacks and it holds so much weight and it's just a nice way to have extra space and decorate and blah, blah, blah. This trash can's awesome. It's from Five Below. It's the pink one. It was just cheap and it holds a lot of stuff, which is nice. Um, you're gonna need a lot of these because you're just gonna have to plug a lot of stuff in and there's not enough plugs in dorms ever. Back there is my router. For some reason, TVs here don't work on the school Wi-Fi, so I had to get a router. Everyone who has a TV here has to use a router. So if you're thinking about coming here, get a router, preferably the one on Amazon, because I heard the ones from Target do not work. but up to you. This is a wax melter and this is so nice. It makes my room smell so good. Um, and then here's my printer. At the time I bought this, I'm not sure if it is anymore, but at the time I bought this, this is the smallest all-in-one printer available, which is nice because when you're living in a dorm, again, you don't have a lot of space. So this can scan, this can print. I don't know what else it can do, but it can do all the stuff a printer's supposed to do, but in a smaller machine which is really nice and you'd be surprised how often in college teachers want you to print stuff out and actually bring it to them i figured it'd be a lot of online submissions but this has come handy a lot i know a lot of schools you can actually like go and print them out at the library or if you're an athlete you can go to like the athlete student center and print them out for free but if you're someone like me and are a little bit lazy and <laughs> just want to print it out in your room that has come in handy a lot. Um, my computer and my mouse. I have a mouse because I edit stuff for my class a lot, so it just comes in handy. It's easier. Flowers for my birthday. Thank you, Rihanna. Um, and then here is perfumes. 
I got this lamp from at home, which was nice. Oh, by the way, I got this from, I keep forgetting to say where stuff is from. This is from Best Buy. This is from Five and Below and this Dollar Tree, Bath and Body Works Walmart. This is from at home and this is just a little cute pink lamp. This is just a little cute thing. I used to have my rings in it. I lost the top to it though, so now it just holds candy. Um, and this is from Hobby Lobby. This is from Gordman's. I think Gordman's went out of business, but it's nice. You can put a lot of stuff in it. And I know they sell stuff like this in a lot of places. So I would suggest that because I have a lot of stuff in here, like a lighter, a nail file, expo markers, like everything you can think of can fit in there, which is so nice. I think this was a gift. This is moisturizing hand sanitizer, which if you have dry skin is awesome. Then up here, this is something I made, oh my gosh, way back in high school. And I don't talk to all the people on here anymore. So if you're seeing this and you think it's weird, I'm sorry, I have not updated it. <laughs> but uh, this is just a bulletin board for decoration. Then here's another roster pick and schedule from one of my past teams. And then this thing is awesome. This is, especially for someone who likes to plan on a calendar type thing, this is amazing because this is the biggest squares I could find at any store for a right on wipe off board calendar because all the other ones were so little and if you're someone who plays sports or has a lot of stuff to do or anything like that like you have to write a lot of stuff in the boxes so this is awesome i got this from hobby lobby and it comes in white and i saw it there in black as well i believe it was under 20 or under 30. it was not very expensive and then another thing I like about it is you can hang it up with thumbtacks. So not very damaging to the walls because you don't want those fees at the end of the semester. Then I have all my necklaces hanging right here, just on thumbtacks, hopefully. Um, just decoration, birthday card. Actually, I think that's my senior night card. Okay, here is a bracelet I made at like a school event. Oh no, <laughs> Julia. Um, it was a bracelet I made at a school event. And then this is a little keychain. Oh my gosh, of one of my teammates. It's so cute. There's a guy uh, uh, in the community here who makes cartoons of like all the athletes here. And this is her keychain. And I love Julia, so that hangs right there for me to see every day. Um, and here, I'm not gonna show it all because there's a bunch of stuff in here that, like my credit card, no one needs to see that. But this is just a catch-all for a bunch of my crap. It comes all the way out. And then also a nice thing about the desks here. <gasps> I just unplugged my whole thing. Hold on, oopsies. Something nice about the desks here is if you have a bunch of crap on your desk and you wanna eat or you need more space, this pulls out. So you kind of have another little space. Um, and then it does it right here too. So this one pulls out to right here as well, which is really nice. So if you need more space, that's really cool. This is another catch-all bin. I would open it, but I know there's like stuff with my address on it in there. Um, but it's just another big drawer that I put like a bunch of stuff in. Down here, back there is like a, these go way, way back, like all the way deep back there. So they're as deep as the desk is. So you have a lot of space. This is all my medicine, bracelets, um, tissues, championship type ring from last year, um, from last season. And then, and here is all of my scenty stuff for my wax melter. I have a problem, but yeah, I usually get them on sale, so it's not that bad, I promise. Um, and then these are all my Polaroids. I know a lot of people like having Polaroids, uh, like a Polaroid wall in college. And my suggestion is to get a Polaroid printer because it's just so much easier and you already have all the pictures on your phone. And then if you ever take a picture on a Polaroid, the sad thing is it's stuck in the Polaroid. You can't post it on Instagram. So having a Polaroid printer, you can just upload the pictures from your phone and it'll print it out on a Polaroid. So that's how I did all of these. Yeah. Then moving on, here is my big fan. Um, oh, that, I keep forgetting to say where stuff's from. That bin is from Walmart. Um, this fan is from Bed Bath & Beyond and it's just a standard like fan so even though that's out of business now you can probably get that anywhere picture from my senior party graduation party whatever that's called um and then here is my bedside table which i love especially if you loft your bed it is so tall i would suggest getting one of these if you need something for by your bed it has so much storage space this is 
just amazing. A lot of girls on my team have actually gotten these since I've gotten one and they all love them. They're great. So on top of, this is from Walmart and it was 20 something, I believe. So really cheap. You have to build it yourself though, which kind of sucks, but it wasn't very hard. My mom built it for me. Thanks mom. This is a dehumidifier. The dorms here are really humid. It's um, really hot here all the time. So it just gets humid. And I like this one. This one's from Amazon. It's from Amazon. I don't know the exact name of it, but I'm sure if you need it, just let me know and I can comment back the link to it. Um, I want to say it was $40 around there and it's really cute. It changes colors. And then if you want to keep it on a color, you just press it again and it works really well. It's not very loud. I like it. Um, and then this is for all my jewelry. I'm going to zoom out again. This is for all my jewelry. It's from Hobby Lobby. This was for senior night. The girls got it for me. I'm pretty sure they got it for Target. Just a, just a water bottle. Um, and then that is a coaster from Etsy. This fan is awesome. I love this fan. You can adjust it up and down. So if it's night, I'll just pivot it and put it on my face. Comfort zone fan. It's really quiet and it's just a nice size to have by your bed. It's from Walmart. My glasses. I like having a uh, power cord here just because I can plug my phone in or my laptop in whatever right by my bed when I'm doing my homework so I, it doesn't look the nicest but it's just very convenient um this little bin from five below pom-pom from dig pink night um and, it, and then it's just a bunch of my bedside table stuff so the remotes my tv my glasses charger cords stuff like that moving on more decoration stuff picture for my graduation. Hi, Margarita. Um, that picture frame is from Home Goods. This was for my birthday, so I'm not sure. Um, this picture frame is one of the dollar picture frames from Walmart. And then down here I have printer paper and stuff like that. Books. These are like, if you play volleyball here, you have to sign a contract. So these are my contracts that I had to sign for the last two years. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. Then this bin is nice. I'm gonna zoom out. This bin is nice. It's from Walmart and I just have all my laundry stuff in here. These are from my senior night and I kept them and I just shoved them in here because I want to scrap with them one day. Don't judge me. I promise I'm not a hoarder, but I do want to keep them for that reason. And then in here, I don't know where I got this bag, but it's has all my nail polish in it and like files and stuff. Is that it? Yeah. Moving on to under my bed. These things are amazing. I really like them. I don't know if they're still available again. I did most of my college shopping in 2018 because I've been in college for a billion years, but these are from Walmart and I want to say they were under 20 a piece, but they're nice because they're like a fabricy material. Let me get closer. They're like a fabricy material and they roll. So they're underneath my bed. I can just roll them out and get into them. This is where I have a lot of my clothes. So all the clothes that I fold, like shorts, pajama shorts, sports bras, underwear, um, yeah, all that type of stuff. And then back there I have more, that's a black one. Um, and it has all my swimsuits. And the nice thing about these is they're reversible. So if you want a pattern on them, you can have that side facing out. But I've had these for a very long time and I've taken them everywhere with me all across the country. So they're awesome. I was just getting something like that under your bed to put clothes because again, there's not a lot of space here and they do give you drawers at a lot of schools, but again, it's not enough space. My waters, they do have a cable cord for like TVs and stuff here, but I don't use that. My other laundry basket because I don't do laundry as often as I should. Then here's my bed. The lights around my bed are from Target. This is also from the like cheap section at the front of Target. And the nice thing about that is you can switch out the little pictures and switch up the vibes. So that's cool. My bedding is from TJ Maxx. And I used to have a duvet from Urban Outfitters. And it was cute, but like I got sick of it within a year. And I don't know, it just wasn't my style. Those are nice, but they like, you can still get a cute one for not that expensive because it was very expensive from Urban Outfitters. So all the stuff on the bed came with the bedding. Um, my sheets are the same. And bring extra sheets to college so you can have something while you're washing them. Um, and then this was a gift for my birthday. Thanks, Roz. Uh, what else? This is a blanket from Walmart and I just have that at the end of my bed so I can grab it when I'm cold. I put all of my scrunchies here and there's a headband there. Then 
get curtains for your room, especially if you're a big napper. That is my suggestion. These are from Walmart. They said that they were room darkening. They don't darken the room that much, but it's something and it's nice to like, especially if you want to nap after class, have some um, curtains so it's not as bright. And then I'm gonna open it and show you what's on my windowsill. It's not a lot. I'm gonna peel it back. Okay, there are napkins there because someone was eating and left napkins there. These are both from at home and they're just fake plants. And that's all I have on my windowsill. But if you're coming to school here, there is room to decorate right there. And the windows don't really open very well, but safety, so that's fine. Um, then my grandpa made this for me. He's a freehand like pinstriper. He's an artist, so he made that for me to hang on my wall. So thanks grandpa, very sweet. Then here's my TV. I've had this TV forever. I'm not sure if you want this exact one, it's a Sanyo. Um, and we don't have cable here. So a lot of dorms don't have cable. I don't even think any dorms have cable that I've ever heard of. So get a Roku, it will save your life. You can still watch a lot of stuff. Um, and this is a wireless charger for when I'm sitting in my chair and doing homework. And this was actually really cheap from Walmart. Um, then there's these chest of drawers right here. Um, the only thing is I had to get this because I wanted to loft my bed. I had to loft my bed because I wanted to put those underneath my bed and the only way they would fit is if I lofted it. When my bed was lofted, my TV was too low for me to see it when I was laying in my bed. So I had to buy this off of Amazon. It was around 30, I wanna say, dollars. And you do have to build this yourself as well. Um, there's storage in it. So I have all my books for my classes this semester right here, an extension cord for all my stuff. And then this is from Target as well in the dollar section. This is from Francesca's and I broke it, rest in peace. Uh, yeah, that's all my stuff in there. Oh yeah, I forgot to show this earlier. If you're coming here, you get a set of drawers, you get your bed, and then you get the desk as well. So that all comes with the room. Um, and I forgot to show this, but I'm coming back and doing this after I already filmed everything. This is how big your drawers are here and they go back into there. So if you're thinking about planning how much clothes you wanna bring, that's how much space you have in a drawer and there are three drawers. Yeah. And then on this side, I have a bunch of stickers that are falling down. Hairspray, I don't know why that's there. Lotion, that's the best lotion ever. If you need a new body lotion, get that one from LA. Um, and then this chair, I love it. I sit in there because a lot of times in your dorm, like your only chair, place to sit in your dorm that's not like a hard chair like that is your bed and sometimes you don't want to sit in your bed all day so I really like having this it's from Target you can get it online um but it's like a butterfly chair is the name of that style of chair so you can get it really anywhere the pillow is from the like outside of the pillow is from Timu and it's just the case you have to put a different pillow inside of it so you have to stuff it yourself which kind of sucks um, then this poster is from Five and Below, and I hung my wallet there. There's a picture up there of, I think that's for my senior night or my last game of 2022. I'm not sure. Um, and then we have tile here. So I have this rug. I've had this rug since 2018. Me and my roomie went halvesies on it, so we each paid 15 and she let me keep it. So it was a total of $30, it was from Walmart. Um, and it's coming very handy. It's nice to not have the cold feet, like the cold tile on your feet in the morning. And then I think that's all my stuff in my room that I can think of. So if you have any questions, let me know. I can also do a bathroom one. But I've been in college for a really long time, so if you have any questions or I forgot to mention where something's from, let me know and I will try to get back with you. Um, the other things that I can think of that like, or tips or whatnot, let me get on my bed. You're gonna need like outlet extenders, whatever they're called, it makes you have a lot more outlets than you actually have. You're gonna need those, you're gonna need extension cords. Even if your school says that you can't have extension cords, people use them, like it's just a thing. And a lot of RAs don't even care. So um, I would definitely get those. Even if your school says you can't have them, I'm being a bad influence, but everyone uses them. I think I see a lot of people say that you like need to have in college as a Brita water filter. Personally, I don't think so. I've not seen a lot of people ever use a Brita. A lot of people use just like they'll buy the water bottles from t like Target or Walmart, like the big case of waters. Uh, but like if you are thinking about getting a Brita, they're kind of expensive and you have to replace the filter and like it's just not necessary. So 
if you want one, go for it. If you don't want to be someone who's using a lot of plastic, go for it. But they're not necessarily necessary. Yeah, I definitely would suggest to get um, as a college student is get a little vacuum because it just makes life so much easier. I've seen people lint rolling their floor. Like it doesn't need to be that serious. <laughs> like if you can afford like even a cheap one, I have a really, really cheap vacuum um, from Walmart. And it's like the kind that is just for hardwood floors. It does its job, but like stuff gets tracked in a lot, especially like people who come, people in college will come and visit your dorm and not take off their shoes. Like that's just not a thing. So your dorm floor is gonna get messy. Um, so definitely get a vacuum or like some kind of like little dust thingy to like pick up your floor. Yeah, like I said earlier, get a laundry basket with wheels. Get a laundry basket with wheels. It's so nice, especially whenever I went home on the weekends when I lived close to home, I would just put a bunch of my crap in the laundry basket, wheel it to my car, put it in my backseat, go home. It was just very nice to have something on wheels because carrying stuff, as lazy as it sounds, I had a uh, like laundry place that was like across campus one time. It just makes it so much easier to not carry it. Some advice, if you're someone who's going to school and you're afraid of like not making friends or like you're gonna be the only one that you know going to that specific school, my, my I can't say it, my biggest suggestion, I've done like four clips of me trying to say my biggest suggestion. My biggest suggestion is going to the on-campus activities. A lot of schools will put on just on-campus stuff like cupcake making, competition, bracelet making, um, chocolate box making for Valentine's Day or they'll have like dances and stuff on campus. Get involved with those because that has helped me make a lot of friends on campus. And even if you go by yourself, I've gone by myself to them a lot. I even went like a couple weeks ago to a bracelet making thing on my own and you make friends that way. So that's something that you can get involved with. Um, also something my life hack for myself is I brought my weed to school and a lot of college people for some reason just eat the wee up so if you have a wee bring it and people will come to your dorm and play it and that's a way you can make friends um what else just yeah be involved in stuff um I was on a sports team so I kind of had built-in friends but also branch out especially if you're on a sports team you don't have to just be friends with the people on your team so yeah get involved in all the stuff um, again, if you have any questions, let me know. I have played Division One volleyball for three years now. Um, so if you want a video on that or tips on like surviving college playing sports, I've been playing sports all throughout college. I went Juco and then I went D1 after that. So if you have any questions about that whole process, recruiting, um, surviving, just let me know and I can ask or answer questions about that too.